there is a human effort involved here. Before the fire came, if I could say like that, or before things were thrown into the fire, the servants whom Jesus calls in this parable reapers did their job. They gathered all of the wheat, all of the tares, excuse me. They gathered all of the things that needed to be destroyed. They plucked them out one by one, gathered them in a bundle, and then threw them into the fire. The issue sometimes exists when it comes to deliverance or when it comes to freedom is that many times instead of plucking the demonic activities out of our life, we take a jar with water and go water it and sit on the sidelines and ask God to send the fire to burn what we water. Do you understand what I'm saying? There is a part that we have to play before Holy Spirit's fire touches an issue in your life. You have to prepare for it. You need to do your part of you plucking things out and you're coming to an end of your effort so that you can come to the beginning of his anointing. God's anointing doesn't just come on a place that did not do their part and their work. Many times people have an addiction or they have a certain thing that is hindering their Christian life. And they develop after a while an apathy. They develop a complacency and a lethargic attitude toward God. And this is the attitude they have. I will go to the prayer line and get delivered. But until the prayer line, I can't overcome it. I will go to the Skoen and there I will get completely delivered. But until Skoen, I can't overcome it. So I am not going to do nothing about it. I want God's fire to come and burn my field. But God's fire is waiting for you to do the groundwork and pre present it. So when His fire comes, God will add His super to your natural to make it supernatural. But God will not add super if there is no natural. There has to be a natural effort placed, a hunger and a desire for God to put his mark and mark that effort by his fire and by his blessing. The Bible even says God will bless the work of our hands. If we don't work with our hands, God has nothing to bless. Jesus allowed disciples to ask them, do you guys have anything that I can touch? They said, we don't have much, but we have two loaves and two fish. Jesus could have said, well, that's not enough. Let me make bread out of a cloud. Because what you have is not enough anyway. No, Jesus says, bring everything you have. And when you bring everything you have, I am going to add what I have. And then we both are going to have a miracle. You want to have a miracle in your life? Jesus is asking, bring me everything you got. You want to be free from pornography? Jesus says, bring me everything you got. Oh no, Lord, but you deliver me and then I'm going to serve you. Jesus says, no, you bring every effort, your desire, everything you can squeeze out of yourself. You bring that to me and I am going to touch what you have, which is not enough. But when I touch it, I will add my super to your natural and then you will have a supernatural miracle. Can somebody say amen? When Elijah was on the mountain, the Bible says that he waited for God's fire to come. But this is what Elijah said. Lord, I have done everything according to your word. And then fire came. Many of us, we come to God and we say, God, I did nothing according to your word. Let your fire come so I can start doing something. But that's not how fire comes. 